Coming up, we go back in time and a floppy disk. <laughs> we practice martial arts. Deploy ninja flip. <laughs> Manly basket. Or Belgian beers. Look at that. And another legendary classic gets rescued. It's coming out. Aloha and welcome to M539 Restorations. Today we're going on a road trip using a car. Except we're not, we're doing that tomorrow. I'm filming this a day prior because I don't feel like getting up even earlier than I need to to do this. We're heading to Belgium. A while back, a really nice subscriber in Patreon, Sebastian, reached out and his godfather has a beautiful and classic E30. That's right, finally an E30 on the channel. The car in question, it's from 1983. 320i with the 5-speed manual gearbox, of course, finished in Delphi Metallic, has sports seats, M-Tech steering wheel, two-door coupe, so beautiful example. It's been off the road for around 10 years, but we'll talk about the details in a bit. I was planning to take Project Rally on this road trip, its first longer road trip, but then another awesome subscriber from Belgium, Pierre from Ghent, reached out and he owned many E21s in the past and he used to run E21 Forum as well. And he wants to donate Recaro seats and three spoke sports steering wheel for Project Castellon, the E21 that's behind the camera right now. That is awesome. I definitely want to have those parts for that car. Unfortunately, the seats are kind of big, so they can't really fit in the E60. So we have to take the touring, plenty of space in the back. Doesn't matter, it just kind of makes sense. Modernish 3 Series going to rescue classic 3 Series. It works. It's around 400 kilometers one way near the city, which I can't really pronounce, Nivles, Nivles, something like that. I'll learn how to pronounce it a little bit later. In the village of Marbeil, not sure if that's correct either, but as we all know, I'm fluent in French, so all is well. My girlfriend, she's gonna come with me, and that's a good thing, because she's a walking Google Translator. She's fluent in German. Spanish, English, pretty good at French and also speaks Macedonian and Serbian. So she's a good dudeness to have around. She's not gonna like that word, but you know. Good morning. It is nearly 10 o'clock. We're running a bit late, but we are on our way to Belgium. Just fueled up, got my camera, got my phone, got the touring, beautiful lady next to me. So we are all set. Say hello to Project Marbay, 1983 Slick Top E30 320i. Michel, the original and only owner of this Munich legend, ordered the car in July of 1983 and was delivered to him in October later that year. Looking at these pictures might give you an impression that the car is in mint condition and it certainly was about 10 years ago when these pictures were taken. Michel himself will tell you a bit more about the car but he thoroughly enjoyed his coupe and racked up 249,000 kilometers on it. Due to family reasons, he stopped using the car in 2011, but was occasionally started to keep the fluids moving so the car does run and drive. We are nearly there, four minutes away, and the scenery is beautiful. I believe we're here. Hello, hello. hello. Bonjour. 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 You speak French? No. No, I, no, I pretend to, but... I, I, I don't speak German. <laughs> I don't speak German either. <laughs> okay. Do we shake or... Michel. Sretten. Michael. Sebastian. Nice to meet Michael. you. Very nice to meet you. Hi, nice yeah. to meet That's you. Maria. Nice yeah. to meet you. She does speak French. Yeah. There's the E30. You want to see the... Absolutely. The Do... baby? So here's the E30. Just yes. like it is on pictures. E30 lines, so pure and so classic. Steel rims, haven't seen steel rims in forever. That's original, right? Yes, yeah. original, yes. Original. Dolphin metallic, beautiful car. one time. Complete or? Uh, yes. Complete, yes. Yeah. but it looks really good, I can't tell, yes. at least from here. And he had rust removed, right? Yes, but the, this part was uh, uh, replaced in 2000 uh -huh. and also the rear wheel oh, arch, yeah. Yes, yes. So it's common on D30s. One thing is probably fact. I made a mistake with the car. The door. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But yes. you hit it on something when backing out? I or? don't know if it's possible <laughs> to repair. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to talk to a body guy. Maybe it can be pulled out, hit with the hammer or something. If not, replace the entire door. But nah. It's stupid. This is I, my mistake. It's I, life, I it happens. The, the, the door, I, I go back to uh -huh. the, the, the garage and I touch the, the, uh, the, the, the Yeah, the, the edge. Wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah it happens. It's normal. So. Yes. This is my only mistake with this car. <laughs> but uh, 
if I understood correctly, you bought it brand new? Yes. Brand new? In, in 1983. Amazing. I was uh, 80, uh, 25 years old. Uh -huh. It was my first car that I bought myself. Wow. And since uh, third plan, this is, I'm the only one owner. Only one owner. I have uh, driven this car during 17, year, 17 years. Yeah. After my, gar my, my uh, garage exploded me, hmm, you, sh you have to, to repair uh, the, uh, the rust uh, uh, the, the rust here. Mm -hmm. But then you have to, to, to stop to, to travel and to, 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 to drive this car because In winter, with, yeah. with the soil and so on. You, if you want to keep it, take care. Don't drive too much yeah, and when it's dry. Winter, it's okay. yeah. And then I bought a three, uh, 23 TA. Uh, TI, E36. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, yes, uh, compact. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same engine, or, or yeah. more or less the same. Very nice. And this one, then oh, after 2000, well, not too much kilometers. Not too much kilometers. Yeah. Not too much kilometers. But it's been all over the Europe, huh? You took it on rallies and stuff. Yes, yes. That's how you use the car. Yes. Really nice. Yes. Beautiful. And one owner E30. That's you don't see that nowadays. Yes. I'm really honored that Sebastian contacted me and that you want to sell me the car. I have also <laughs> the original. Ah, that's the original steering wheel. Steering wheel. Amazing. In great shape as well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably better than the, 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 the three... The, three the, spoke, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. But I like the other one much better. <laughs> the M Sport, it's, it's beautiful. In the interior of this car, we have beautiful sports seats. Those original or...? No, no, no. They're replaced. No. They're replaced, huh? Yes. But in beautiful shape. We have three spoke m -tech steering wheel. Ooh, smells moldy inside. Five speed. I, I was a little bit surprised. You, you, you wanted to have the car not cleaned. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always do that because I love, okay. I love when the cars are dusty, not clean with the original. That's what I love. So the later I can go through the entire car and see everything. One thing I, I can show you because uh, it's very important also. The, uh, in Belgium, we have to Every year we have to go to a, a legal control to verify. Technique, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And Tooth in Germany. Yeah. The, the last one was made in 2011. 10 years ago. 10 years ago, so that's. You see also the number of kilometers. Yeah. 249. So since 10 years. Standing. Not moved. Impressive. But it still starts and everything. Yes. What do you think, uh, Maria? I, made a video of really I love the interior. Mm -hmm. it's so classic and beautiful. Never used. Look at that. Never used. <laughs> Never used. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, we can just clean up the rust. Yes. And that's beautiful and original. Amazing. Do we have a clutch? Yes, we do. Look at the shape of these seats. Beautiful condition. No tears, no rips, nothing. Steering wheel a bit worn, but overall pretty good. That's the business end, huh? M20. Straight six engine. There's the original color, Delphi metallic. I have also all the toys and all the repairs made during. Uh, oh my God! Oh. That's cool. all of it. Yes. Oh. That alone is what sells the car. Amazing. So you you see in French, huh? It yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, it's normal. <laughs> and I have you have also somewhere with a minute uh, the the purchase order. No. Yes. Original one. Yes. Yes, this is the, the, the options you, we, we can have at that time. Mm -hmm. And here, this is in fact a copy of the purchase order. Wow. You have That's the price? Yes, in, in Belgian franc. Belgian so franc. So you have to divide by 40 for, for, for euro. Oh, wow. So around uh, 13,000 euro. You were back time. then, yeah. <laughs> and you have. Uh, Look at that, yeah. Yes, this is the official one. That here is... And this is, everything is for you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> that alone yeah. is, is what and makes this car so like special. You, I have also, not easy to find, but okay, in French, the documentation for everything for the theory. Really? And a CD, a CD-ROM with all the parts. CD-ROM? Yes. Or well, maybe Maria can translate as well. <laughs> and I have Look at that. The whole service manual and everything. For new car, I think this is not uh, useful because you have everything on internet and so on. But uh, at that time, either you know or you don't know. See, and a floppy disk. 
yes, you, you need the, the hardware to, to, to be able to read it. But yeah, it's it. been forever since we've seen a floppy disk. <laughs> Parts catalog in a CD. TK. Amazing. Yeah, it's okay, yeah. That's like real OEM. Another period, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, 2000. And you have everything. Absolutely amazing. I have also the key. The valet key. The valet key. A ah, valet key. Look at that. And, and also the small key for the antenna. The radio was removed mm -hmm. because for me, the best radio for this car, this is the six cylinder. Yeah, you don't need a radio, exactly. I don't need something more. <laughs> yeah. You just need to hear the engine. But this is such a good power plant. So this is where it says something. Is this the valve cover that was done? Uh, or the, the timing belt? Timing belt. Well, probably yes. 2002 or something? I don't, can't really. I mean, I'll do it again because, just because of age, but. Yes, yes. You have to do it every five years. I mean, this is my e th first E30, so I don't know much about them, but yeah. yeah. The That's definitely, system. yeah, diagnostic port. Pretty amazing, but everything looks so tidy in here. It's, it's all original, all beautifully dusty. I love it. <laughs> so uh, can we maybe take it out there or? All right, then I'll move my cherry out. Starts easily and beautifully. That is a lovely cold start. Sounds like it's firing on all six. Sebastian even had it completely warmed up and it keeps the temperature, it doesn't overheat. This is a very, very solid and reliable lump. Very healthy. Ah. Maybe the brakes are a bit frozen. What does he have? Uh, discs? discs and drums. And drums. I've never had a car that had drum brakes. It sounds so peppy and happy. Very, very heavy foot. Yeah. That explains a lot. <laughs> That's good. It keeps the engine healthy. Cleans up all of the crap and stuff. Yeah. Look at that. It's coming out. Perfect. It works so good. It's ridiculous. No smoke, nothing. And it smells good. Yeah? <laughs> Proper petrol. You, you have no idea how incredible it is to find someone who actually bought it brand new. So you know how the car felt when it was brand new and everything. And here it is so many years later. So what I want to do with this car, fix whatever needs fixing, put it in good condition, get German tooth, use it, drive it. For me, uh, it's not easy to to leave this car. Huh? Yeah, I can imagine. After 38 years. Absolutely. So I know that you will take care. Yeah. You will do Absolutely. the best for this car. And then it will be a second life for, for, uh, for this car. Already, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I love doing, giving cars second chances. I bought so many neglected cars. I don't know if Sebastian showed you some of the videos, but yeah, I love doing this. So the body is really, really, really straight. No dings or anything. Like, look at that door. All of that should polish and touch up. It's nothing too bad. Tail lights in excellent shape. No cracks or anything. Look at that exhaust. Look at that. All straight. Look at that floor. Spare wheel? Yes. And never, you never used. No. Never used. Pirelli <laughs> P6600. Never used. That tells you a lot. Remarkable. You, sir, took an excellent care of this car ah, yes absolutely excellent because a lot of people because they're so reliable used to buy them and just beat them don't do maintenance or anything just drive them but also the way you drive huh? when, yeah when the, the engine is cold cold uh, you, you have to take, take care it easily, of the, yeah. mainly for a, a, a bmw yeah so you have and then okay you keep your your car in good uh, good conditions and no problem and oh, really? I had also a, a good garage, a specialist, mm -hmm. and uh, every year we, we did, and you will see on, on, on the paper, yeah. uh, everything was done correctly. And I mean, the body, it's just so in excellent shape, everything, all of the edges, the trunk lid. Look how shiny that is. And a small lip. Look at the badge. It's, it's new, huh? exactly. Like that. But that happened one. the other day, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that happened the other day there. That's the antenna where it goes. No rust around there. Everything perfect here. So this is the only damage that it has exterior-wise. And uh, I have to see if this is repairable enough. If not, 
then replace the entire door. But it's not a big deal. I mean, you know, you use the car, stuff happens. Windshield in great order. Look at the E30 headlamps. When you see these cars on the road, they just make you happy. A little bit of cleaning up needed there. As I said, I don't know much about M20s. This is my first M20 and the E30 chassis, but you don't have to be an expert on them to know that that sounds great. So the timing belt was replaced at one point, but we're definitely gonna do that again. Just due to age and just really good service, but everything looks so straight. No rust anywhere. I don't see any leaks either. It just smells like 80s. It has the specific smell that only cars from that age have. I love it. Seat, I mean, I'm loving this. I really am. It smells a bit moldy inside. That's from sitting. So we're gonna have to use an ozone generator and just clean the interior, get rid of that smell. I mean, you can see it here and there as well. So that needs to be cleaned up. The brakes actually feel really good. The clutch is very soft. Fluid needs to be changed. There's the five speed. Feels beautiful. Ah, doesn't matter, we can edit that out. The dash is in great shape. Very tiny crack there, but nothing major. The cluster, beautiful ladies cluster. What's that for? I don't even know. Headlights? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How old school is that? So this was all added by you. This yes, and this. Yes, yes. Those are some tasteful mods. You know, yes. that's really tasteful. We, we makes car much better and original. The door opens so nice and shuts. That looks all really, really good. The exhaust is in great shape. No rust. The diff is not leaking. The floor, the body, the chassis, everything looks so good and straight. Sebastian did send me a bunch of pictures from underneath and he doesn't have any rust, which is amazing. Look at that. This is a car that's almost 40 years old, ladies and gents. And it looks beautiful from underneath. Strut, that could probably use a refresh. The brakes, they actually look, they are good. And then we have drums in the back. I didn't even know how to service that. Never had a car with drum brakes. Love the caps. Crap. No rust. No rust, anything. Treated and protected. Yeah. Do you approve, Maria? Yes. <laughs> She's actually the mastermind. <laughs> and no leaks. Incredible. You look so straight and honest from the bottom. It's crazy. For a car of this age, the, all the tran is a bit wettish looking, but and a little bit from the lower oil pan. But that's a given. How do you pronounce the, the city? Marbay? Or Marbay. Marbay. Oh, that's pretty good. And the other one, Nive. Nive. Nivelle. Nivelle. Yeah, okay, good. I mean, I'm fluent in French, but, you know. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't think this has ABS pump, does it? It doesn't have ABS, doesn't no. Have yeah, ABS. exactly. Thank God. Thank God. Just needs a good flush. I mean, all of the fluids need to be replaced. No power, no power steering. steering on it. No power steering. No oh. LSD. No LSD. No. no power LSD steering. LSD was like an option. An old Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> LSD was an option. Yeah, look at that. Starts so easily. Oh, the clutch is very, the very bottom. I think the brakes, a little bit rusty, but yeah, it feels good. Man, I can't wait to drive this car. Oh, look at that, the old check panel, rear lights, cool Vasa, coolant, and the rear lights. Headliner, a little bit musty. Yeah, the seat belt as well, moldy. In great shape, our shade speakers in the back, headliner great 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 shape i love the look of it and i really love that it's coupe you know uh, that's two door it's so much better looking than the limo beautiful what else is there to say temperature it's reached it's right in the middle listen to that sound how good is that all right let's see this clutch it's really tricky I love it. It's a beautiful car. Beautiful, beautiful car. Thank you for selling it to me. It's, I told Sebastian I'm definitely gonna take it. I mean, once I heard the story and everything, it's amazing, really impressive. If you will 
need more details about the, the car, the story and so on, you can uh, so ask me. Huh? You wrote me a really nice email and uh, I'm really sorry about your wife hearing that was really, mm -hmm. really sad. But uh, uh, in fact, it was more or less the, s the same period uh, when she was uh, sick. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we didn't, uh, I didn't uh, I stopped to, to drive with this car. Yeah, so yeah. In fact, the, the, the last uh, travel we, we made, uh, it's like a touristic rally in Belgium, also north of, in France, mm -hmm. also on the Nürburgring. The Nürburgring. <laughs> wow. I don't know the, the how many minutes I have made with this car. Tourist. Two, 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 uh, two, two turns. Two laps, two laps, laps yeah. Uh, <laughs> with this car in Holland also. So it's been all over the place. This car has been everywhere. In the trunk, the, the beers. All Belgian beers. Look at that. Manufactured band. This one is made in uh, Charleroi. Thank you for this. Beautiful <laughs> no gift. Problem. No problem. Beautiful <laughs> gift. Like you couldn't do anything better than that. <laughs> Thank you very much for this. This goes into the touring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a touring. I have loads of space. I bought the car there mm -hmm. and it was my mechanics during uh, all the time. All the time. Wow. Yes. <laughs> That's really important when the one. Unfortunately, he, 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 he passed died. away uh, ah. uh, four or three years ago. Yeah. Okay, that's sad. He kept the car in good condition. Yes, it's, it's because you need a good driver, but you need also a good, good mechanic. <laughs> Very true. Yes. So we just finished everything. The car is going to stay here until I find transport to bring it back to Germany. Hopefully really, really soon. And then I can't wait to start working on this thing and put it back on the road. Super excited about this. I'm very grateful to Sebastian and Michelle for selling me this car, for making this car happen, because it's just a really, really beautiful car. It means a lot to Michelle. So I'm going to do the best I can with it to put it back on the road and keep it on the road as long as possible. So we are leaving right now, going for Ghent to get the seats and meet Pierre. But beautiful car, beautiful experience, really nice people. And I'm so, so stoked for that car. Thank you again. Thank you so Merci. much. Have a great weekend. Au revoir. Bye bye. Ciao. Au revoir. Ciao, Sebastian. And this is the lovely letter that Michelle prepared for me. What a guy. We agreed that once the car is fixed up and registered, Sebastian and Michelle will come to Frankfurt so he can reunite with his E30 and, of course, drive it. We hit the road again and met up with Pierre in Ghent. He owns several cool classic BMWs, amongst which are these two E21s. The, the S edition, the bad one. The S edition? Yeah. So. Uh, it's painted in two different colors. You see, this is um, uh, graphite gray metallic, and this is Ascot gray. And that's from the factory, like that? From the factory. I had There's no idea this was an option. Only 800-ish uh, uh, were built like this. And I, wow. I, yeah. And again, same, same interior. This one is a bit more uh, rough. Why does it smell so good, man? I have to say it, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. I just, wow, these are proper bucket seats, man. So my microphone died, but this is his other E21 Bauer. Quite yeah. rare. Look at that interior. It's mint. Same sport of car seats, 157,000 kilometers. Beautiful car. So we're in Ghent right now. I met Pierre, really, really, really nice car, an E21 enthusiast. So he gave me beautiful car seats. He gave me the rear deck that's not cut and the Mtex sport steering wheel that's right over there. So, and another bonus, Haynes repair manual for E21, right over there. How cool is that? So, super, super thankful and grateful for this. Now we're gonna go to the city center, grab some food, and then we're gonna start driving back. Thank you. <laughs> After another awesome experience, we went to see the beautiful city of Ghent, grab some food, and it was time to head back. the wind oh yes oh. that didn't go according to the plan deploy ninja flip nothing to see here just an expert practicing parkour and karate as you can see we are back in the dojo we had a wonderful day in Belgium yesterday, meeting Sebastian and Michelle. And it is Michelle, not Michael. I'm stupid. 
was just incredible. They are incredibly nice people and I'm so happy that I got to meet them. The whole story behind the car, how Michelle bought it brand new, is just amazing and really, 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 really nice guy. I mean, Sebastian even made me a basket with beers. How nice is that? After that, we went to Ghent. We met Pierre, another awesome subscriber. He's an E21 enthusiast. And as you can see, he provided me with many cool parts. Original Recaro E21 seats for Project Castellon. Rear deck that has no holes, steering wheel, haze manual. Super nice person. He showed me his toys as well, told me a lot of cool stories. So really, really wonderful experience as well. Then we went to city of Ghent. Awesome city, really tiny, really beautiful. The only regret is that we didn't have enough time. We only had a couple of hours to explore it, but we're definitely gonna be back. We wanna see Ghent and Bridge a bit more. Project Marbella, I'm gonna try and not go crazy with that car as I am with Project Karlsruhe, for example, the E32. E30, it's a much simpler car than E32, and it seems in overall decent shape. So we're just gonna do what needs fixing, bit of preventative maintenance, and then get it to pass German tooth. Then registered, hopefully, uh, it's over 30 years old, so it qualifies for historic plates, and I'm gonna keep it in original co condition so you can get the plates. I don't know what the plan is yet, because initially I was sort of planning to fix it up and then sell it to someone who's going to take care of it. But now meeting Michelle and hearing the whole story, how he used that car as a daily driver, then took it on rallies, then with his wife across to Europe. It's just, you know, finding an E30 from 83 that still had its original owner, it's just really, really rare occurrence. So I don't feel like selling it to anyone else. I'm gonna try and keep it. I'm not gonna make any promises because at the end of the day, I have, what is it, 10 cars right now? My God, when did it get out of the hand so quickly? And Project Chicago, that's also coming. It's somewhere swimming in the ocean. Should be here soonish. So we'll see. I wanna reflect on Project Cologne for a bit. We did 960 kilometers yesterday in one day and it did wonderful, didn't miss a beat. It's really comfortable, everything that I did to it, the seats, the ride, the suspension, is just a wonderful car to drive. And the engine doesn't use a sip of oil since I did the O2 pilot mode, liquid moly oil additive and motor protect, it just works perfect. And I even got 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers fuel consumption, which is pretty decent. I drove it faster in Germany, but in Belgium, I drove it pretty slowly because they have speed cameras all over the place so you just you gotta be careful and uh, yeah really really happy with that car it does everything I tell it to and it's not breaking down as well I hope that you enjoyed the video I certainly did making it meeting all of those nice people seeing Belgium buying a legendary classic E30 so give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you didn't it helps the channel check out the merchandise the link is in the description we have some cool stuff all of that helps the channel and I'll see you very soon. The next video is going to be on Project Cars Rue. We're doing a bit of work on that. And then hopefully on the E30 again, once it's here. See ya.